2016 has been named the year of virtual reality. But while most people associate virtual reality with video games, a unit at the University of Sydney is hoping the technology will be able to eventually save lives. Rafael Calvo is head of the Positive Computing Unit at the university and is currently studying whether virtual reality can help reduce the risk of dementia. So what we're doing is, uh, or we hope to be able to do is not to treat dementia but reduce the risk of dementia. Uh, this is because uh, one of the first abilities that people lose uh, with age and uh, with mild cognitive impairment is the ability to find themselves in a map or in a, in a place. Um, so here in these uh, games you navigate through uh, virtual maps. At a local community centre, three of Raphael's students are testing this virtual reality technology on employees and elderly visitors. The students have designed two games that transport the user into a virtual world based on Google Maps, where they can cycle through and name different cities around the world. Graham Chaudhry tested the technology. Obviously you start off in a city that you're very familiar with, being Sydney. Um, after that you sort of uh, dropped into a random type city. Um, no, it was, it was good. OK, it's Italian. Wouldn't be wrong. Yeah, that's right. The researchers are hoping the games will reduce the risk of dementia by stimulating both cognitive and cardiovascular exercise. Kieran Iaz is one of the PhD students working on the study and designed one of these games. It's a well-known fact that um, uh, doing more exercise, physical as well as cognitive, that helps to um, slow down this degenerative process of the brain, which is really important for uh, dementia. It's not really, um, um, not only preventing it or helping people to reduce the risk of dementia, but it's also improving their lifestyle. Currently, dementia is the second leading cause of death in Australia and the greatest cause of disability in elderly people. But for these students, treating dementia is just one of the many uses of virtual reality. There are a lot of applications I'm hoping to have in the next few years. Um, it could be towards medical surgeries, uh, training, um, not just specifically for academics, but uh, a lot of work is happening in industry as well. So it could be uh, flight simulators, like uh, helping people to uh, do stuff which they can't really do in real life. The students will use the feedback to adjust the technology and eventually test these games in a clinical study with patients suffering from mild cognitive impairments. Cameron Nichols reporting for Modern Exploration.